Hi and how are you all today? I am Priyanka and let us do the following question. It says, write the following in decimal form and say what kind of decimal expansion each has. Now first of all we need to convert it into decimal form and then we need to tell them what kind of decimal expansion it is. These are the six parts of the question which are given to us and we will be proceeding it one by one but before that we should be well versed with the kind of decimal expansion. They are terminating decimal expansion and non terminating repeating decimal expansion. Right. Terminating decimal expansion is a kind of where the remainder does not repeat itself or remainder is equal to zero in this case. Whereas in this case the remainder repeat itself after a certain stage. Right, so the knowledge of the kind of decimals is the key idea we are going to use in order to proceed on with our solution. Right. So let us proceed on with the first part. The expression given to us is 36 by 100. So this can be easily converted into decimal without actually doing so because the denominator is having two zeros. So we can put a decimal sign after or before two numbers in the numerator like this. Since this is in this case, the remainder will be equal to 0. So this will be a case of terminating decimal expansion. Right, so this ends the first part. Proceeding on with the next part. Now the expression is 1 divided by 11. So let us find out or see what the remainder is by actually doing it. So we can have a decimal sign to make it 10, but since 10 is less than 11, so we need to have one more zero in the question column and then we can make it as 100. Now 11 multiplied by 9 gives us 99. We are left with the remainder 1. Again 1, since the remainder is repeating itself, we will be having this procedure long and long and long. So the answer to this part will be 0 0.09 bar. And since it is the remainder repeats itself after a certain stage, it is non-terminating repeating decimal expansion. Right. So this completes the second part. Proceeding on to the next part, the expression given to us is 4, 1 by 8. Since this is a mixed fraction, we will first convert it into improper fraction. That will be 33 by 8. Now let us divide 8. 8 multiplied by 4 will give us 32. So we are left with remainder 1. We will have a decimal and we will drop down 0 from above. 8 multiplied by 2, 8 multiplied by 1 will give us 8. So we are left with the remainder 2. Again, we will drop down 0 from above to make it 20. Now, 8 multiplied by 2 gives us 16. We are left with 4. Dropping down 0 from above makes it 40 and 8 multiplied by 5 will give us 40. So the remainder is equal to 0 and hence it's not repeating itself. So the answer will be 4.125 
and we can write that this is a terminating type of decimal expansion. The fourth expression given to us is 3 by 13. Let us divide it. Again, we need to have a decimal. 13 multiplied by 2 will give us 26. We are left with remainder 4. 0 will be dropped down from above. 13 multiplied by 3 gives us 39. We are left with remainder 1. Again, dropping down 0 from above makes it 10. Now, we need to have, since 10 is less than 13, we need to have one more zero dropping down simultaneously so we'll be having a zero sign above now 13 multiplied by 7 will give us 91 so we're left with remainder 9 again dropping down zero from above 13 multiplied by 6 will give us 78 we are left with remainder 12 and this procedure will carry on one one seven we are left with remainder three now this remainder is repeating itself from the place where we started so that means this whole procedure will go on similarly and we can have the answer as 0 0.230769 bar because from this point again the whole procedure will repeat itself and hence it is a non-terminating repeating decimal expansion. Right, so this completes the part. Proceeding on further, we have 12 divided by 11. Now, let us divide it. Dropping down it from above. Now, 11 eighths are, we'll have 88. We are left with remainder 2 which is repeating itself. Since it is repeating so we can have the answer as 0 0.18 and this procedure will repeat on so we can have a bar and it will be a non-terminating repeating decimal. Proceeding on with the last and final part, we have the expression as 3 to 9 divided by 400. Again, we need to have a decimal. Then 400 multiplied by 8 will give us 3200. On subtraction, we get the remainder as 90. Dropping down 0 from above, multiplying 400 by 2, we have 800. So, we are left with remainder as 100. Again, dropping down 0 from above, getting the remainder as 200. And now, 400 multiplied by 5 will give us 2000. And we can have a remainder that is 0. Since the remainder is 0, that means it is what? Yes, it is a terminating decimal expansion. Right, so this completes the entire question which was given to us. I hope you enjoyed the session. And remember what are terminating and non-terminating repeating decimal types. Alright, bye for now.